Welcome back to my channel. We are now going to work on page number three. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I wanted to go over all the pieces and parts real quick. This is our build for number three. Now that was back in earlier videos. Uh, so if you are just joining me now, you'll want to go back and watch the other videos so that you can make this. Uh, I picked a light blue color for a piece of cardstock. Um, we may also need to have some uh, of your uh, craft. All right, and then of course we have our base uh, page that comes with this month's dealio. And then I have gone and now I cut all this and let's see, let me see if I can get this all in. Okay, so, and you have, let's see, let me move it down just a smidge and see if we can get this all in one. Okay, um, so what I have done is I cut this up the way I want it for the things I want. I'm going to use this for a tag. So I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to use, I think probably in every one of these, this little card. So I'm going to put that aside. I know that I want to use this one. It's just got little pots on it. It's so cute. So I'm going to put this aside. And I know that I want to use these three little girls, little flower girls. So I've got an interesting thing with tags to do with these three. So I'm going to put those aside. The rest of it, <clears throat> I can, you know, take it or leave it. I, I think I'm going to just, uh, this one says daffodils, tulips, hyacinths, rose, hollyhock, violet, buttercup, pansy, geranium, and marigold. I'm going to put this one over and I'm going to put this April over. Okay. The rest of this we're going to flip over. So there I have some pink. Now this has a, a, a small hippity hop with a little a little bit of a checkerboard underneath. That's kind of neat. And there's nice lines. And there's some blue pokey dots. Okay, so these are the papers that we have um, for, you know, with the designer paper that's that's going to be like the background colors and, and such. Okay. And then going back to this. Oh, and I also pulled this sticker. I showed you in the last video to do your homework and prepare the stickers. And that's that one. Um, and I've got them on black cardstock. So I'm going to stick those aside as well. So we've got plenty of papers. <clears throat> I am so sorry. And let me get my blue back out. Am I really liking this blue? I think maybe it's a bit too bright. <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. Allergies have been rough. But I tell you, the only thing that I have planned for this is to put down through the center here. Um, I don't want there to be uh, just the black background of the the back page showing because these you know are all the way through okay and so I wanted something and I thought maybe that might work but I'm not thinking that I'm going to like well you know what I think it'll be fine I don't know maybe it's a bit too bright let me see if I can find a little different one and you and go and find something that you can use. If you want to just use the craft, it will look totally fine underneath there. The craft will look totally fine. I was just going to spice it up a little bit. So I'm going to see if I can find some blue. I'll be right back. All right. So I found a little better blue that I like. Um, and again, you're not going to see much of it. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm going to keep my two separate piles. And this can go in here. And of course, we have this one. 
but I think for the first thing I want to get this just cut and put into so I'm leaving about an eighth of an inch all the way around and it does not have to go all the way down we can just if we want to try and save some of the paper to use for something else we are more than welcome to do that so I'm gonna cut here well now let's cut here first let's bring this all the way up to just a small black edge okay oops so I cut it this way first okay so we that leaves us at the largest sheet and now I'm going to cut across here. I always want to think about when you cut, what, what are you actually going to be leaving yourself to play with? All right, and then we've got a little piece here. So, here we go. Let's make sure this is going to fit. And the main reason we're doing this The main reason we are doing this is, and if you don't want it to stick up off the top, which I'm thinking maybe I don't, um, I'm just going to slide it down. Although we will need whatever piece we do put on the top, we will need to cover this. Or when you go to put tags in, it's going to be clicking on this all the time. And the other reason we're doing this is because all these little pieces right here that are holding the pockets on all the hinges that are in there when you put tags in it's going to fight to get down in there and when you're when you're putting the top one in and going through three pockets to get down there you don't want it to hit a bunch of stuff right okay I'm thinking I would have liked this a little bit wider, but I am going to just say I'm happy with it and move on. I'm going to go ahead and put some glue just basically on the top and down a little bit on the sides. So this is my top. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue along the top and down most of the side and we can just put a little bit of glue all right so now we're going to run it down through our pockets trying to hold it up off of the bottom see it gets hooked on those stinky little things okay and I'm gonna push it just below the top edge and I want it to be somewhat straight okay let's go ahead and get some burnishing done down now All right, there we go. So there's that. Okay. So I think the first thing is you're going to want to figure out what it is you're going to want to use and where you're going to want to use it. And I'm sorry I did not tape down my noisiness yet. There we go. Okay. Um... So I have this cute little hippity hop thing. It's very short though. I might just use this on a tag. Most of this, most of this page is going to be tags. I mean, you know, you just, it's just going to be tags. Um, and the only paper that we have that's actually long enough to go all the way across is 
the green. Uh, so, let's see now. Let's see now what we want to do. This, does this look alright on the green? I'm not wild about it on the green. Um, and and it's, it's cute on that. And then what does it look like on the blue? Eh. Okay, so I think I want to have this on the top. And I think I will work with this and I think I will do a green strip on both sides all the way down um, so I'm going to cut a half two half inch strips do I want a half inch yeah I think so two half inch strips down this way all right so let's see what I've got here Let's see what I've got. So I'm gonna, I cut myself a little strip so that I could get it to a normal place. So, um, I mean, onto a, onto a line that's a, it's a, a quarter inch or a half inch kind of thing so that it's just easier to figure out where to cut it when I'm moving it down on my, on my uh, cutter markings so there's a half inch and there is a half inch and there might be enough to actually cover one entire pocket there we go and i'll have the half inch all the way down and then if i wanted to cover almost an entire pocket Um, this might look nice putting across this bottom here as well I mean the top not the bottom but we'll hold off on that let me go ahead and now you have one of two ways you can do this you can start it and just go all the way down just gluing it straight all the way down and just allowing it to go across the uh, seams or splits in between the pockets. Uh, you can totally do that. You would just not put glue uh, in the spot where in between the two pockets. You don't want to glue the strip down. Um, that way I could still get a tag in there that goes from this side to this side. If you glued the, this strip down inside, then you're, you're basically making your pocket going to be an inch less wide because you've got a half inch on both sides. Or we can cut small pieces and have black edges and just have them go down every pocket. And I think that's what I'm going to do, but you can certainly do either one. So I'm just going to go right down and then that one will be cut there. Is that yeah that one will be cut there and then okay so I'm gonna cut these three and that should take care of that side if I did my measurements correctly where's my mark lost my mark <laughs> oh just didn't pull it far enough Oops. And I don't remember. Oop. I don't remember if I marked these to go to cut where it, you know, where. Uh, no, that's not that one. There we go. So that's that one. This is this one. 
And this is, let me see. Remember these were scraps now, so they're, they weren't all the same. They were very close, but I didn't make them uh, all the same width or height, I should say. They were, were made all the same width. All right, so let me get my pencil mark off of there. There we go. All right, and we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and ink these get these cut just like I showed you how to do it or if you're going to do this I'm going to ink them get them cut and glued on and then I'll come back to you okay guys so this is mine now sorry I used that as a so I could see the contrast for the black so here it is so far okay and now I have plenty to cover with this piece in the center so I used some contrast paper so that I could see my my black edge and I want first I want to match up this sheet with the top of this green strip and this green strip because that's where I want it to end up then at the bottom I'm going to put that one's good I'm going to put a mark right on the edge of the green paper I'm going to cut just to the let's see I put it I'm going to cut directly through the center because of where where I put my mark I'm going to cut directly through the center so it does not matter if you put this in your printer I mean in your cutter and you line this one up and this one doesn't line up because we're not perfect so line this mark up and this mark up and cut it that way don't just line one mark up and cut it so it might not be perfectly square or rectangular but if you cut at that mark and at that mark you're going to have a piece of paper that is going to fit between these two green slips okay because I don't think these are um, in a direct line I can just by eyeballing them I can see and they're not they almost are but they're not quite so I'm just going to fiddle around with it a smidge until I have it down the center and now we should have a piece that is the same height good it is okay so now I want to know where I need to cut it I want to have a little black edge okay I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit so I can see where my my green starts and where I want to cut so I have a little bit of a black edge on both sides between the strips and this sheet so I'm going to make that cut remember save all these little pieces and there we go can you guys see that little black edge all the way around and it just looks so finished and so that like that is exactly the way it's supposed to look I also want to let you guys know that after every um, every one of these pages I'm sticking on my little leftovers back here now normally cardstock um, I, I separate out but I have so little of this stuff the 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 bigger pieces I am leaving out the little ones I'm just sticking in here as well and then I have my newer pieces that I'm just dropping into the front and that way I can keep them uh, separated and but still work them in the pages where they belong later on you know this might be an April paper but if I have some left it might look good in uh, in 
Junes, you know, so we'll be able to use some of the leftover pieces in other months where we may need to have a few bits and pieces, okay? Um, so now I'm going to ink this up. Alrighty, and I think I twirled it around. Is, am I still okay here? Yes, I am. Isn't it lovely? Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Let's see, do I, I want to put, because this is going to have this across it, and that actually will go across that onto the green, which, you know, I can live with because I'm also going to back this on black. So that will look kind of neat. Um, but do I want some lace? Or, let's see, what else do we have that I might like to use? Um, that might just be too fanciful. I have a little strip of this black. Well, I don't know. I've got this little silver, silver doodad. Eh. The only thing I don't like about these is the, um, the time that it takes to cut all those little extra threads off because I can't stand them to have those little extra threads hanging on them. I don't know, that's kind of pretty, but we'll we'll wait and see on this stuff. This stuff will probably be the last. The last little smidge. Did I have anything? I know I never used that other chipboard piece. See, that's winter, winter to my Valentine. Oh, how did I miss that for February? I guess I didn't look. Um, and here's a flower. That's going to be cute. Or there's this flower on a clock. I think that's a different month. Okay, so we've got a flower. So I'm, I'm thinking nothing is going to go underneath this. So I'm going to go ahead. My fan is drying my glue up. <laughs> Oh, it just gets a little too warm in here, even at night. With the air going, if I don't have that fan on. Come on. There we go. It clogged up on me. Okay. So, I'm just going to line this up where I know my thickness because I checked it for my little black edge so that it will fit everywhere and give me a nice a nice look yes very nice very nice there we go okay so there's that I'll put this aside uh, there's also a trick with these that I will show you when we go to use it um, because they're very thick. They're very, very thick. So I will show you that in a little while when we go to use it. Now this one, let's get this. Um, let's see. I've got a bunch of these little inch strips. Is this going to be? Yeah. So find one of your small little strips. Let's ink this up. Oh, I already did ink. I forgot that I had already inked all those pages. So if I cut them, I'll have to re-ink them. But if I don't, we are good to go. I'm so good to you guys. <laughs> and you're so good to me. You know, my husband asked me the other day, he said, why don't you just craft? Why are you doing videos? Because they're so time consuming. 
you are always fussing about the downloads and he said you don't make anything doing this and I said well it gives me somebody to talk to and I've made so many friends uh, that you know I don't because you know with the COVID virus and just moving here I have not had an opportunity to make any friends I have so I know it's a little pity party I mean I've got my husband whom I love dearly and I've got my my best friend in Washington State um, but it's you know I just you know you don't you don't get to go out and do anything or you know go to any get-togethers or parties or nothing and that's okay I understand and one day we will be able to do all those again and I am totally willing to wait but it's because I got you guys and so um, yeah I, he just was like all right he said I'm not you know I'm not trying to make you feel bad about doing it or anything I just just was wondering why you keep doing it but I wanted to let you guys know that I know those those um, commercials before during whatever the the videos that you guys watch to trying to watch all of our videos that were that were posting um, honestly if you let those play through some of them are pretty good some of them are not but I always let them play through on other people's because I know that helps them make a little bit more money the longer they play the longer you watch a video um, the more money honestly I get about uh, three to three fifty a year right now that's what I'm making for everything you have to do for posting videos and I did open a Facebook group and uh, I, I have started putting that on the links on my new videos. I'll have to go back and put them on all the others. But again, there's something else that I've got to do that keeps me away from my crafting. Um, but, you know, I'm not really doing it to make the money. I'm, I'm doing it because I, I'm making friends and I get to enjoy you guys and your comments and questions. I love helping people and I love sharing what I know so you know but I just wanted to kind of mention that if you guys uh, the longer you watch somebody's video um, it, it doesn't necessarily make them money but it it puts them into a different grouping where they get recommended more and more and more and uh you know obviously the more subscribers i just filled my <laughs> i guess while i was talking to you the glue was filling my nail oh for heaven's sakes um and the, the longer you watch the commercials but you know if if they just drive you nuts then just just skip them because i know there's once in a while i'll just say you know what <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not gonna watch this one I've seen it a dozen times. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> but I try and help them out. Because uh, we're all, all us little video people are all in the same boat. And I've heard about the, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called now. It just escaped me because I was thinking about it. Um, it's not anything I, I want to do, but Patreon, where you, uh, People go on there and and they can give you 50 cents or five dollars or you know whatever to help fund what you do because they enjoyed a video or watched your video or whatever and I guess you know they felt like they should pay you for it I, I don't know um, that's not anything that that I'm interested in doing that is not straight It's close, but it is not straight. I don't know. Is that straight? 
Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, that's straight. It just it doesn't look straight, but it's straight. Okay. All right. So there's that. Um let's see. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to make to go down inside this big pocket. I want to make a booklet. So I'm going to take an eight and a half by eleven piece of paper, and I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, and then I am going to put this on the top. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut just below the perforation line and take this part off. All right. And I think these pages are going to be where we're probably going to have a small amount of, of usable leftovers that we'll be able to spread to some of the other uh, project pages because this one's pr pretty straightforward and simple so um, but I want to put this entire thing on here so I'm just going to clean up my space so I have some room to work <laughs> I got a lot of room here but I got a lot of stuff I keep not putting back where it belongs okay so, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom, leaving a nice little border. And right here, I got to get this on the white so I can really see where it is. There we go. And I see that it wasn't very well folded. <laughs> let's just cut this I it's again it's the paper is not a hundred percent eight and a half by eleven so I am just going to give this a little trim so that it's nice and straight I just took off a tiny little edge so now I am going to take this and check it again to make sure that I'm not going to have it Yeah, I need to move it up a little bit. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. And I'm going to redo it there too. Am I on... Where is my paper? Where is my paper? Okay, there's that. Well, now it does not seem to want to be square on me. Hold on, let me check. Okay, so that is a little off. Let me check this one. And I'm just laying it along the edge of my... Uh, let me show you on here. I'm laying it along the ledge and I'm moving it up to a line and I'm making sure that it is straight, that it's the same distance all the way from the top to the bottom. And then doing it again, I just pick a line, and now it's straight, and then doing this again, I'm picking a line, and it's almost straight, but one thing I haven't done, good thought, Lisa, is let's check and see if we actually need it this tall. So I have a feeling that we're going to have to, yep, cut it down a little bit anyway. So let's make it go right about here. So we'll be cutting this part down anyway. So I'm just going to put this in. 
See now this one was not quite straight anyway. So it's fine that we're going to be cutting it down. Make sure you're against the edge. Cut her off. We can probably throw this little piece away. Probably. Okay, so let's check one more time. Yeah, you can't see it, but it leaves a nice little edge. So whatever paper I put along the top, um, we'll, we'll be able to see. So now let's go back to the drawing board. I'll put this here. So I want a nice little black edge and a nice, and another way you can know if it's straight is if you lay it across and then it's not coming down this side, but maybe this paper's off, okay? So you just got to fiddle around with it until you get it the way you want it. Okay, this looks pretty good right here. I guess, I don't know why I have a pencil mark there. And then this is going to come right here. Okay, I'm going to cut down this way first. So that will leave that whole sheet, okay? Alrighty. Slice a Rooney and Slice a Rooney. Slice a Rooney. The San Francisco treat. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So there we go. Hold on just a sec.